Hey, y'all. Hey, what's going on? You know, I do. I spend a lot of time, uh, you know, talking about, besides my personal stuff, you know, a lot of stuff that's happening on the national front as opposed to, you know, Milwaukee. Milwaukee is just so divisive. Um, and um, like any other major city, uh, it's still a mess. And um, one of the things that's going on here right now is really crazy. We have an officer here that's been charged with homicide, yet he can't be fired legally. Now, y'all tell me where the, where, excuse me, where the hell they do that at? Okay, just listen to what we're saying. This is why we need police reform. We got a damn officer right here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin who was charged with homicide. Yet, this chief, who now been demoted since, Morales, says that he can't legally fire this officer. And I'm just going to read a snippet from this article. Protesters and officials, including Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett, have repeatedly called for a Milwaukee police officer charged with homicide to be fired. But Officer Michael Matoli, charged with a felony for killing Joel Acevedo, by the way, he was off duty, has remained on the city payroll for four months since Acevedo's death. Acevedo died after Matoli put him in a chokehold during a fight at the off-duty police officer's home. At a Milwaukee Perez Club event Tuesday, Morales doubled down on the assertion that he lost the ability to fire Matoli when the Pyre Police Commission, the Civilian Oversight Board, forced the police department to stop its internal base investigation and took over the probe. They said it's not true. Anyway, the commission demanded all the investigative materials from the police department a week after the police department received them from the district attorney's office whose investigators led the criminal probe at the request of the Milwaukee police. Once police handed them over, Morales said he no longer had the tools to continue an investigation that met the standards required by law. Y'all hearing this crazy, craziness? Remember, the guy's been charged by murder, charged with homicide, murder. To be able to render a decision, the individual has to have due process, which would be implemented by the investigation that we, the Milwaukee Police Department, would have done, Morales said. But by it being in the authority of the Fire and Police Commission to take that investigation away from us, and to give us the orders to cease the investigation. I can't investigate it to render a decision. I don't have the findings. State law requires that the chief meet a just cause standard in order to fire an officer. Matoli, a 13-year department veteran, was charged May 13th with first-degree reckless homicide in the Acevedo death. He still faced a separate internal investigation within the Milwaukee Police Department to determine whether he broke department rules and if so, what punishment should he receive as, an adult, as a result. First of all, I'm getting sick and damn tired of the internal affairs investigating police officers. Let's do away with the internal affairs department division. Let's get them the hell out the way. They don't need to be there and we need to have an... an um, uh, independent investigative uh, uh, firm to deal with police infractions. Okay, this right here, this shit is for the birds. Milwaukee, I mean, usually the police department conducts such investigations and the police chief imposes the discipline. If the officer is fired, he or she has the right to appeal to the commission, but is not paid during the appeal process. It, it had it been left under my authority, I would have been able to complete the investigation in a timely manner and render the decision. 
Instead, a week after criminal charges were filed, the Fire and Police Commission took over the internal investigation. The commission's executive director said that investigator had found enough evidence for the disciplinary charges, but has not released further details nor handed down any discipline. As a result, Matoli has continued to receive a salary. The disciplinary charges could lead to his termination or lesser sanction, but only after a hearing before the commissioner. The same proceedings that would have occurred had he been fired by the chief and had appealed. Matoli's attorney has said that the commission's disciplinary actions were expected to and indicated Matoli was refusing to participate in the commission's investigate, investigation, calling it a sham proceeding, sound like Trump, don't it, that violated his due process. Matoli would automatically be fired from the department if he is convicted of a felony in Acevedo's death. Well, he's been charged now. He just ain't been to trial. So, the timeline is this, people. On April 19th, police were called to Matoli's house at about 7.40 in the morning for a battery. Matoli is booked into the Milwaukee County Jail that night on tentative charges of first-degree reckless injury and strangulation. April 25th, Acevedo dies from his injuries at St. Luke's Hospital. May 13th, Matoli is charged with first-degree reckless homicide by the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office, whose investigators led to criminal probe at the request of the Milwaukee police. May 19th, the Fire and Police Commission orders Milwaukee police to stop its internal investigation and turn over all the materials to the commission's investigator. On May 19th, Mayor Tom Barrett writes a letter to Morales calling for Matoli to be fired. May 29th, Acevedo's family protests outside Matoli's house as part of a sweeping nationwide demonstration relating to the killings of George Floyd in Minneapolis. July 10th, the Fire and Police Commission releases disciplinary charges indicating what department rules Matoli broke but does not hand down discipline. The charges include potential violation of code of conduct um, as it relates to integrity, respect and violation of MPD SOP 450 Regulation 65B and one Fire and Police Commission investigation. On July, I'm sure there's a few more charges. They don't have a list. Um, July 13th, Matoli's preliminary hearing is postponed until August 31st. So we can get some more checks. Acevedo's family files a lawsuit and they filed it against the Milwaukee police to obtain copies of the 911 calls and the body camera footage of the incident. Although body cam footage is public record, prosecutors and police typically do not release such evidence while a case is still pending. And they do that as so not to taint the jury pool. Okay, y'all. Y'all think the taxpayers of Milwaukee should still be paying this bum who's been charged with homicide? Do you think it's right? Just like all across the nation, these officers are not being held accountable for the murders that they're doing. I mean, these are psychopaths. You 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 can't
can't stand to be arrested and taken away by thugs and gang members that wear blue uniforms. Y'all leave me y'all comments below. Tell me what you think about this story.